The following excerpt is by George Mueller. The precious Lord Jesus Christ is our friend. Oh, let us seek to realize this. It is not merely a religious phrase or statement, but truly He is our friend. He is the brother born by adversity, the one who sticks closer than a brother, who will never leave and never forsake us. How precious, even on earth, to have a heavenly friend. For this brings the joy of heaven even a little degree into our hearts now. This is just what our Heavenly Father desires regarding His children, that they might be as happy as they are capable of being while here in the body. Have we entered into this, that the one who is altogether lovely is ready hour by hour to be our friend? When we cannot sleep at night, say to Christ, My precious Heavenly Friend, will Thou give me a little sleep? When in pain, say, My precious Heavenly Friend, if it may please Thee, wilt Thou take away this pain? But if not, if Thou seest better that it should continue, Sustain, help, and strengthen me, my precious heavenly friend. When we feel lonely and tired, turn to the precious Lord Jesus. He is willing to be our friend in our loneliness. For 62 years and 5 months I had a beloved wife, and now in my 92nd year I am left alone. But I turn to my precious Lord Jesus as I walk up and down in my room and say, My precious Lord Jesus, I am alone, and yet not alone. Thou art with me. Thou art my friend. Now, Lord, comfort me and strengthen me. Give to thy poor servant everything thou sees he needs. Oh, this is a reality, not a fable, that the Lord Jesus Christ is our friend. We should not be satisfied till we are brought to this, that we know the Lord Jesus Christ experientially to be our friend and habitually to be our friend. Just ponder this, habitually, never leaving, never forsaking us, at all times and under all circumstances, ready to prove himself to be our friend. He is willing not merely to grant this for a few months or a year or two, but to the very end of our earthly pilgrimage. David in Psalm 23 says, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Oh, how precious this is, for this lovely one is coming again, and soon. Soon he will come again, and then he will take us home, and there we shall be with him forever. Oh, how precious is that bright and glorious prospect. Here again, the practical point is to appropriate this to ourselves. He is coming to take me, poor, guilty, worthless, hell-deserving me. He is coming to take me to himself. And to the degree in which we enter into these glorious things, the joys of heaven have already commenced.